It is 6.52 a.m. Time for your morning news now. La Crosse Fire investigators are working to determine the cause of an early morning fire at the America's Best Value Inn. No one was injured. Employees at the nearby Quick Trip had called 911 to report the fire in a hotel entryway and attempted to put out the flames with a fire extinguisher. According to firefighters, the damage was contained to the exterior of the building. Once the fire was out, all guests and staff returned to the building. That hotel still open for business. A new partnership between La Crosse PD and Cooley Cap providing members of the nonprofit training now about mental health first aid. Police officers certified in mental health first aid are extending their knowledge to Cooley Cap staff. Officers say recognizing the signs of a mental health crisis is the first step. Last year in La Crosse County, 21 people died by suicide. La Crosse Police Captain Andrew Dittman says continuing to talk about mental health in the community is just one part of the solution. Sharing our experience, sharing the curriculum that we have through Mental Health First Aid and just providing awareness regarding mental health issues. Staff members learned how to communicate and de-escalate a situation where someone's in crisis. The Cooley Cap Director Hattie Brown says by expanding the nonprofit's knowledge about mental health, it can direct people to long-term solutions. Also taking measures to ensure everyone's safety. This week, La Crosse Police officers are learning crisis intervention skills. One of the department's goals is to certify all of its officers in crisis intervention. Officers train with mental health professionals, including some from the National Alliance for Mental Illness. They believe training helps the community feel safe. When somebody may be experiencing their worst day, they're calling law enforcement, and law enforcement are showing up on scene. And so we want them to have the, the knowledge, the resources, and the best skills possible to approach the situation, to serve that consumer that might be in crisis. And as a part of their training, officers will also tour Gunderson Lutheran. As we take a look at your day planner for today, our temperatures will be well into those mid to upper teens, 7 o'clock, partly cloudy skies really for much of the day today. Temperatures will be warming their way up into those low to mid 30s this afternoon with light southeast winds around 5 to 10. Thanks very much, Derek. Wisconsin's DNR officials want everyone to keep waste in mind this holiday season. When you're wrapping your gifts, keep in mind that most cities don't accept wrapping paper, especially if it has foiled designs. If your recycling service does take wrapping paper, make sure it is flattened, not crumpled into a ball. Another item that ends up in the trash is string lights. Officials say do not put them in your recycling bin. When it gets to the facility, it's very easy for a light string to get wrapped up into the equipment. You can check in your area to see if there are some special drop-off options for recycling holiday lights, but otherwise put those broken light strings in the trash. If you have broken light strings you'd like to recycle, Rotary Lights in downtown La Crosse has a collection going. Proceeds from recycling those lights go back to funding the Rotary Club. She is the Grinch with a grin. La Crosse makeup artist April Benson spent the morning yesterday with seniors at Bethany St. Joseph Care Center, where she painted herself to look like the Grinch. Benson started doing Grinch makeovers in 2020 at the start of the pandemic. Back then, she was feeling a bit like a Grinch, weren't we all? And she needed a boost. Ever since 2020, everybody's just, I feel like, just in a foul mood. I was just hoping to bring some joy to people's lives, including my own. And the detail on that was just spectacular. April recently appeared on the TV show Live with Kelly and Ryan in New York. Over there, she transformed into Davy Jones from the movie Pirates of the Caribbean. I got to see that photo. That is so awesome. I love that story. Uh, let's get a check now, our final check that is on your eight-day forecast today. 35 and partly cloudy, looking out for a good chance of snow starting late tonight and continue through much of the morning into the early afternoon tomorrow. So something we'll have to keep our eyes on, Ken. It is an alert day that we'll have to watch out for. All right, so that first one weather app going to be your friend You're for gonna sure. We're going to tonight and tomorrow. All right, well, don't forget to keep up with the news of the day on news8000.com. We'll have the latest updates on noon. Have a good rest of your day, everybody.